Hi guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I'm finally doing this Let's Play. A lot of people are probably wondering, how the hell has he not done this already? Well, it is finally time. I am Mastrath, and I welcome you to this. Nintendo presents... Uh... Uh, uh, fine. 50 hertz mode. I got an old television. The Pokemon Company! And Genius Sonority! It can only be one game, let's be honest. Finally! Welcome to... Pokemon Coliseum! Game made in 2004? At least I said it was 2003. Oh! Uh, by those guys, Nintendo Creatures Inc. Game Freak Incorporated and developed by Genius Sonority Incorporated for the Nintendo GameCube. This game is probably the best Pokemon spin-off ever made. Um, this game is so popular, it's a lot of fun, and uh, let's get straight into it. Why not? Uh, has been read, good. And I am going to start a new game. There we go. So we have a story mode, we have a battle mode, that's all nice. Let's start a new game, shall we? Right, so here's our characters you can see here. We look pretty damn awesome, apart from the white line on the face. Is that tape? Because my facial hair goes above, can go above that, can go above like the nose. That'd be horrible to take off every night. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's like a really weird tan line. Regardless, this guy's name is Wes, usually. Uh, obviously he will not be called Wes here. He shall be Master, because he's back, and also, this is a role that really suits me. A lot. So, let's go! To plot! There's a desert and a skarmory! And whatever that is! And a bunch of bald people! And explosions! And the... Wow! I don't know if I should be happy about the mustache, or more impressed about the mustache, or the eyebrows, I don't know. This guy grins maniacally! He has perfectly white teeth! Everyone's running! We're running with Umbreon! We are taking what this is! He's like, get down now! And they run! They run more! We can run faster though, because we have hair! And hair apparently makes you faster. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be nabbing this! Let's get the hell out of here on this cool weird motorbike thing! Let's go! With one wheel! He's still smiling! They're not, because they just got blown up! Yes! He is not happy! He's not happy at the fact that part of his moustache is two inches shorter than the other part! I know that always annoys me. And we think, ah, well I think we'll go here, this weird abandoned train thingy. But yes, here's our character, we can move around! We have massive shoes! Look at those shoes, they're huge. And our, uh, our coattails wave in the wind. We have coattails of doom, folks. And we are wearing that thing that we stole. Hmm. And we've also got something here. For some reason, in this sort of game, no one likes using wheels very much. As you can see, they're just... They're just scattered everywhere. This thing doesn't look like it has any wheels. Uh, our bike has, like, one wheel. Technically, it's a unicycle, I guess. Not as badass. Yeah, let's have a look at this bag here. Looks like the bag's moving a little bit. There's something squirming in the sack. Get in the sack. Indeed. Indeed. Are any of you Brock? No. No, you're not. Ah, oh, well. Phwah! We should have picked out, eh? I love chowing down after a job. It adds the flavor, I swear! Heh <laughs> yeah! And we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too! Not a catch-22? You disappointed me. Boss will be sure to fix us up with uh, with big rewards too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. And they get in their clapped out old wheelless jeep thingy with stacks on it for some reason. And they drive off. Oh uh, well. It's lovely thing waving in the wind. We have a gear, we have a whatever that's supposed to be. I'm going to guess that has, like, plutonium or, like, some sort of radioactive liquid in it. And, uh, 
That's why we can't interact with it. One kick, and that's the end of Pokemon Coliseum straight away. And you actually game over in a Pokemon game. Instead of just whiting out or blacking out and you're fine. Ah, the news! Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Echo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time the police arrived, the ruined building had been had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent eventually. Wow! There's actually law enforcement that actually do something! Amazing. But yes, we have the news. News is pretty important. We can use newsy things for that. Hello, sir. Oh, I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveler, huh? Not that it matters any. I don't know where you might have come from, but relax, stick around for a while. Not even gonna serve me. What a git. Hello, you. You're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? I guess so, yes. Heh, <laughs> I can tell. And you're good. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, we've never had a battle before in this game. Well, maybe we have, but not in this playthrough, at least. I bet your Pokemon are impressive too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. Heh. <laughs> Though I doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. Don't put yourself down, weird pink-haired man. What do you got to say? You know, I don't quite understand what happened. But having your hideout blow up on you, crime doesn't pay, I guess. I live a crime-free life, so nothing's going to blow up on me. <laughs> and now we plant the C4. Um, no, let's uh, have a chat with this guy here. You know, I don't quite understand what happened. Have you? You said the exact same thing. Wow. You two have mind-melded completely. Jukebox! We've got Elton John on here. Ah, it's just K-pop. Never mind. You know, mind K-pop, but you know. Well. Hey, do you know about Team Snagum? Uh, no. They're a bunch of heartless crooks. They rip off Pokemon from tr trainers without any hesitation. I hear they use something called a snag ball to catch Pokemon from their rightful trainer in battle. I'm guessing that you're a trainer. You best be careful. I certainly will. Thank you very much for the information. Yo, wait! Wait up! Is that that guy? Oh, it's him! It's, it's Pinkhead Man! Hey, my name's Willy! Of course it is. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to battle you. It's like I'm compelled to. Anyway, you look at it, it's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. No, I'm an ordinary Masterath. Hello. There's only one of me. So what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Sure, why not? Yeah, That's the spirit! All right, all right, over here, this way. Yes, because we can't fight in a building because, well, problems will happen. Yeah! I'm burning now, I'm on fire! It's a full throttle time! Vroom, vroom, let's roll! This guy's a bit too much of a biker enthusiast from the sound of it. He is a rider willing. <laughs> Game, why? I'm trying to keep this as PG as possible. And your you you your first the first character you fight is called Rider Willy. All right. Anyway, uh, a few things you can see. First off, the graphics look awesome for its time. Can I just say that? Two, this is set in uh, for uh, two on two battles. All the time, you always get double battles. Um, because I believe this came I believe this game came out a year exactly after um, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire did. So uh, yeah. And uh, obviously, they want, to, they want to show off more of the uh, the uh, the double battles and stuff, which is all fine with me. Even though I made it first, I made it about 2001, I think. Also, triple battles as well. Maybe if I can find those like old bits of paper I was doing about, um, I'll show you guys. And then Nintendo gives me lots of money. Uh, but anyway, so we have an Espeon and an Umbreon. Nice. And those are our first two Pokemon. So Umbreon has Bite, Taunt, Snatch, and Secret Power. It's not even the best of things, really, is it? Let's go for Bite on one of these things you use. Espeon has Confusion, Return, Reflect, and Helping Hand. That's a bit better. Let's go for another Confusion. So let's go... I just want to try and take out one of the Zigzagoons, so there you go. Have that. Oh, critical hit! Oh, first crit, and it's the first turn! Zigzagoon is dead! Oh, that was quick. So experience points, very nice. 
Don't know why Espeon has less experience than Umbreon, but never mind. So we kick off with level 26 Umbreon and a level 25 Espeon, which is pretty nice. I like how he runs through his legs. <laughs> and he flinched! Oh, how unlucky you have been, good sir. The only reason you'd have been even more unlucky if I got a second crit from that bite. But oh, well, Zigzagoon is gone, and we, without taking any damage, have defeated Ryder William. Yes, indeed we have. God damn it, Nintendo. We have defeated Ryder William. Wiped out. I still need seasoning. What, are you a piece of food? What do you want, a piece of food? A bit of lemon zest, I think we'll do it. Yes. But yeah, you're tough. Real tough. You did a number, a real number on us. Yeah, a crit, a flinch would do that to you. Hey, I know. Why don't you test your skills with Fnark City? It's out west of here. You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. You should go out there and get some battling in. I think I will, good sir. Thank you very much. Let's just leave here. So now, instead of having to walk to the next area, you can simply just ride your bike. Yeah, Espeon Umbreon's in the back, in the in the sidecar. Yeah. Well, welcome to Fnark City, which looks bloody awesome. I forgot how good Fnark City actually looked. It's really nice. That water's pretty good for its time as well. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this, it won't stop squirming. It makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, settle it down here. Just be quiet for a little while longer. Yeah. <laughs> Help! Someone let me out! Kidnappers! <sighs> that duct tape didn't hold her yep shut. Hank, what are you shouting? Oh, Drat, did that punk over here hear all that? And they drop it! <laughs> oh, come on! That's a person in there, you just dropped it. I've heard about that getting dumped, but that's ridiculous. Heard. Uh, yeah, it's happened. Anyway, um, since you haven't heard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. Oh yeah, like you, Shady Guy Folly is gonna beat me. Did you see my last battle? Of course you didn't, you were here. But still, you have Wizmers. Not loud dreads, not explodes, whizmers. Fair enough. I have Umbreon and Espeon right here to kick your ass. So yes, you actually kick off with two starter Pokemon in this game, Espeon and Umbreon, and uh, which is quite good. Um, Umbreon is a pretty nice defensive tank. Uh, Espeon's a pretty powerful attacker, so that's a nice combo. As you can see that confusion just wailed on Wizmer. And defeat Wisma, so that was good. But yes, Umbreon's a pretty nice defensive tank as well, so they're both really good in their own way. Uh, Umbreon has less attack, but more sort of defense capabilities and survival, uh, while Espeon is pretty much your main attacker. This guy's also not going to do any damage to me because he went for Howl. Not the best ideas. Alright, let's go for a different move. Let's go for Return. Why not? So return, for people that don't know, is a normal type Pokemon move, which uh, deals more damage the more the uh, Pokemon using it likes you. So pretty much it's friendship based. Um, I believe the highest it can be is 101 uh, power, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> but with that, Umbreon's up level 27, I think. And we have defeated Shady Guy Folly with, once again, without taking any damage. This has gone incredibly well so far. Gah! You're tougher than you look! I look amazingly tough. Don't know what you're talking about. I have a tan line on my face. That's tough as hell. You took out my Wismer. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? No, I'm an ordinary master. I've already told you that. Well, not you, but... Uh, huh. Wait a sec. That face. Might you be Team Snagums? Oh, here comes backup. What? What? What's going on here? Eek! Somebody! Robbers! They're robbers! Y you be quiet. We're not robbers, we're kidnappers. Get it? Kidnappers! What? You dingbat! Don't shoot off your mouth. Don't get all happy just on account of winning this once. The next time we meet, I'll trash you, your Pokemon and all! Sure you will. Ugh, yuck! There's someone inside here. Yuck! Ew! 
there's people! Alive people! I always thought that was weird. Oh, yuck, there's a person in here. That was weird. God, this is tight, good and tight. Can you believe these people? What a horrible thing to do. Yeah, no, where's the air pockets? How's this person alive? The sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Undo the knot. This person can't undo a knot, apparently. We can. Master tugs hard on the tightly knotted rope. The knot gradually loosened. Master Athan did the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. Which makes kind of no sense. Oh, hello. Phew, thank goodness, I'm saved. Where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Fanark City, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons. It was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh yeah, I beat Wismas. <laughs> Such a great accomplishment. Oh, is that so? Thank you. And, uh, you are? Oh, so you're mas your name Master. I am. We get to name the woman here. Her original name is Rui. And I'm going to call her Rui. Because I don't have a good name. I mean, I guess I, I could go for the old trope of calling her Misty. Because she's got, you know, orange hair. And, you know, like, okay, okay, one of it's sort of, okay, they're both tied up where, but could go for that. Nah, we're just going to go basic and go Rui. There we go. I didn't think about it. But that's been done a lot in Let's Plays already, so, yeah. My name's Rui. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in a neighbouring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys. Did they have... Did they use a peculiar Pokemon? A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh. No. No, that's fine then. Well, it's easy to see some things on your mind. You should go to our mayor for his advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure he'll be able to keep to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square, and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey, Mastrath, I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I get you to escort me for a while pretty much until the end of the game sure thank you Mastrath. <laughs> i thought you might say that hey don't don't assume anything with me i am a cool man if you're with me Mastrath, it won't matter if those th guys come back again thank you thanks for joining me for a while you mean you're joining me i'm the one that can be doing most of the work around here you know Rui became a partner, and that quick. There we go, first video, and there we go. Get out of the way. So what have we got around here in Fenox City before we go for a break? We have a cast form here. And we have a cast form here. We have a, we have a cast form here. Hoa hoa! Indeed, that's a cast form. Oh my god, we have a shop over here, that's pretty good. We have this person. If you're still traveling, you should stock up on supplies at the shop here. I recommend it. After all, it is my how. Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, anyway, the shop has the best reputation around these parts. Oh, I get it. But he... You're employed by them. You're the one there going, oh, yes, gets a free shot when you come in here. But you have to buy a drink with it as well. And with the shop, probably costs about the same amount anyway. Complete con merchant. That's actually, an, that's actually an experience I've had in real life. It's a horrible. Ugh, anyway. Let's go to the shop. What have we got? So we've got nothing up. We've got nothing downstairs. What have we got upstairs? Hello, you. What do you sell? You might as well show you. It's the Pokemon Mart. You sell utter... Gr wow. No, 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 no. Rui, we're getting out of here. D move. Move. Yes, we're getting the hell out of here. Bloody guard specs. You fail. All right. I don't like you anymore. Ah, here's our PC. Yes, political correctness. Let's go into the political credits and get brainwashed. Oh, wait. It's a Pokemon Center. Oh, well. 
I don't really need the healing, but just on the off chance of, you know, uh, wasting my PP. I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to waste PP. I don't want to, like, have a move that I can't use anymore. I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center. We're using Ether Elixir. And here's our Space Age PC. Yeah. With the thinnest of thinnest screens. So we have a Pokemon storage here. Which we have. Wow, only three boxes. Hmm. Are there certain Pokemon that we're allowed that we're allowed to catch? Why, yes, they are. Um, there's no wild Pokemon in this game. Uh, but we'll get onto why that is later for people that don't know. But for the moment, I'm gonna save here. Also, snagged Pokemon. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what that means. Well, let's go out of here. If we can trigger a Maybe a cutscene? Nope. Oh, I think I know where that's supposed to be. But anyway, guys, also I like the way that the doors don't even shut. Like, that Pokemon's doors are still open. Look at this thing. But anyway, guys, I'm going for a break here, but the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, there's now a boy being chased by the cast form. We will go and see the mayor and see if the mayor can help us. I'll see you then.